welcome to math score it's vedic math level 4 day 44 and today we will learn vedic math method for multiplication of polynomial so let's start it but before that if you are new to this channel then please subscribe this channel and click on the bell icon also don't forget to like share and comment for this video first of all let us know about polynomial polynomial is nothing but an algebraic expression Now let us know what is difference between equation and polynomial. In polynomial, algebraic terms are not separated by equal sign. In polynomial, algebraic terms are separated only by plus or minus sign. But in equation, two algebraic expression or terms are separated by equal sign. In polynomial, exponent is always a whole number. Okay, so that is the difference between equation and polynomial. So let us solve some examples on it. Let us solve first example on multiplication of binomials. Binomials is nothing but an algebraic expression which contains two terms in it. So example is here: two x plus three multiplied by three x plus three. Now we will solve this example by using basic math concept. So first of all, write down coefficient of first binomial here: two and one. Now write down coefficient of second binomial here, three and three. Now, as you can see, this is the multiplication of two-digit number. So we know very well how to multiply two-digit number by using basic math concept. So we will use the concept i x i here. So first of all, multiply unit place number. One multiplied by three is three. Now do cross multiplication and addition of Unit and tens place number. So we will get two multiplied by three plus one multiplied by three, which is equal to two multiplied by three is six and one multiplied by three is three. So six plus three is equal to nine. Now write down this nine in the middle. After that we will multiply tens place number together. So two multiplied by three is six. Now in this way we got the number six ninety three. Now we need to write down this in the form of polynomial. Now you can see here three terms are given six nine three. So the highest degree of variable will be two. So we can write this in the form of polynomial like six x square plus nine x plus three, where three is a constant. Now let's take second example on multiplication of binomial. Example is here four x plus two multiplied by two x plus five. Now we will write coefficient of first binomial here. Four and two, and then we will write coefficient of second binomial here, two and five. Now this is multiplication of two-digit number. So according to the basic math concept of i x i, we will solve this example. So first of all, multiply unit place number. Two multiplied by five. Now two multiplied by five is ten. So write down ten as it is. Here we don't have to take carry number. Whatever number we will get, we have to write down as it is. Now, next we will do cross multiplication and addition of unit and tens place number. So, four multiplied by five plus two multiplied by two. Four multiplied by five is twenty, and two multiplied by two is four. So, twenty plus four is equal to twenty-four. So, write down whole number twenty-four in the middle. And after that, we will multiply tens place number together. So, four multiplied by two is eight. So, write down eight at the Left most side in the answer. So in this way, we got three numbers here: eight, twenty-four, and ten. So these are three terms. We will write in the form of polynomial. So three terms are there. That's why the highest degree of variable will be two. So we will write eight x square plus twenty-four x plus ten. So ten is constant term here. Let us take next example on multiplication of trinomials. Trinomial means what? Trinomials are nothing but an algebraic expression in which three terms are there. So example is here: four x square plus two x plus three multiplied by three x square plus three x plus two. Now we will solve this example by using the same method as we done for previous two example. So write down coefficient of first trinomial here: four, two, and three. Then write coefficient of second trinomial, three, three, and two. Now, as you can see, this is the multiplication of three-digit number, 
and we know very well how to multiply three digit number with Vedic math concept. So here we will use the concept ix asterisk xi. So first of all, multiply unit place number together. Three multiply by two is six. So write down six in the answer. After that, we will do cross multiplication and addition of unit and tens place number. So two multiply by two plus three multiply by three. So two multiply by two is four and three multiply by three is nine. So four plus nine is equal to thirteen. So write down thirteen before six. After that, third step is there asterisk. So in that asterisk, we will multiply, cross multiply, unit and hundred place number and their addition we need to do, and then we need to add tens place digit multiplication in it. So two multiply by four plus three multiply by three plus two multiply by three. So we will get eight plus nine plus six, which is equal to twenty three. So write down twenty three in the middle. After that, we will do fourth step x, which is cross multiplication of tens and hundred place number, and then addition we need to do. So four multiply by three plus two multiply by three. Four multiply by three is twelve, plus two multiply by three is six. So twelve plus six is equal to eighteen. So write down eighteen before twenty three. And the last step is i. So we need to do multiplication of hundred place number together. So four multiply by three is twelve. So write down twelve in the answer. So in this way, we got the five terms here: twelve, eighteen, twenty-three, thirteen, and six. Now we need to write down this in the form of polynomial. So here five terms are there. That's why the highest degree of variable will be four. So we will write twelve x raised to four plus eighteen x cube plus twenty-three x square plus thirteen x plus six. Where six is the constant term in this trinomial multiplication. So in this way, you can multiply any polynomial by using the same concept. Okay, I hope you will understand this method. If you have any queries related to the multiplication of polynomial, you can type in the comment box. Thanks for watching.